Welcome to LCTV. In this video we are going to demonstrate the operation of a HMF 6020 crane. Starting in the cab, locate the remote control chest pack. Engage the PTO. When the PTO is engaged, this will automatically lower the air suspension. I can see the moon drift through the shadow. I can see the With the chest pack in hand, make sure the stop button is released. Press the black button to the right of the stop. This will turn on the chest pack. Then press the green button to turn on the RCL unit. We are going to start at the near side. Lift the near side front leg beam lock and sit the latch on the plate. On the near side rear leg, lift up the leg beam lock lever. One of the safety features is to tell the crane which side of the vehicle you are working from by pressing the ID button. Arrows on the chest pack display will illustrate that this has been successful. Hold switch 2 to the left within 10 seconds of IDing and then keep this held to the left for all leg operations with the remote. Pushing forward on the first lever will send out the near side front leg. Pushing the fifth lever forward will rotate and lower the near side front leg. Pull the crane leg towards you and secure in place with the leg lock pin. Press the fifth lever forward again to continue extending the leg down. If at any time the chest pack forgets which side you are working from, just ID the side again. Pushing the second lever forward will send out the near side rear leg. Press the sixth lever forward to send down the rear leg. Now we're going to move to the off side of the vehicle. As we did with the near side, lift the leg beam lock and sit the latch on the plate. Moving to the rear leg, pull up the leg beam lock lever. ID that you are going to operate the offside legs. Pushing the third lever forward will send out the offside front leg. Push the 7th lever forward to rotate and lower the offside front leg. Pull the leg into place and secure with a leg lock pin. Again press the 7th lever forward to continue extending down the leg. Push the 4th lever forward to send out the offside rear leg. Then pushing the 8th lever, send down the offside rear leg. Now the legs are set, we change to the crane mode by pressing the yellow button twice. The chest pack will now display crane mode. A quick pull of the second lever will calibrate the crane lifting capacity based on its stability. Here we have 100% lifting capacity. Now you can set about your work with the crane. Be careful with the extension stowage lock. To clear this, Raise the main lift ramp, bring in the extension jib to release from the lock. Once you are finished, you will need to reverse these procedures to put it all away.
Bring the extension jib all the way into the main lift ram before lowering the lift ram. Lower the extension jib onto the extension lock. Continue to lower the main lift ram, align and seat in the locating bracket. Double press the yellow button again on the chest pack to go back into leg mode. ID that you are operating the offside legs. Pull the seventh lever on the remote to raise the leg off the ground. Release the leg lock pin. Pull the seventh lever again to finish raising and rotating the leg. Pulling the third lever will retract the leg beam back in. Make sure the leg stowage warning devices are seated correctly. Pull the 8th lever to raise the offside rear leg. Pulling back the 4th lever will retract the leg beam back in. Lower the leg lock lever to secure the beam. Moving back to the near side. ID that you are working on the near side legs. Pull back the fifth lever to raise the near side front leg off the ground. Release the leg lock pin. Pull the fifth lever again to finish raising and rotating the leg. Pull the first lever to retract the near side front leg beam. Make sure the leg stowage warning devices are seated correctly. Pulling back on the sixth lever will raise the near side rear leg. Pull the second lever to retract the leg beam. Lower the leg lock lever to secure the beam. Now the crane and legs are all packed away. Put the remote chest pack back in its cradle so the stowage magnets connect. Disengage the PTO. Turn on the ECAS control unit and press the self leveling button. This will raise the air suspension to the correct ride height. You are ready to hit the road 